and welcome to page 25 of volume 2 of my graphic novel of comic strips titled Bound Earth. Uh, it's a weird weekend. Uh, I'm currently recording this on Saturday night before it goes on Patreon for uh, the first, first week, uh, just for the patrons. And then everybody else gets it a week later even on YouTube. Uh, so, weird weekend, I'm in a hotel uh, somewhere, uh, Perrysburg, Ohio, uh, for a soccer tournament. My 16-year-old is, is playing in a, for his high school team at a soccer tournament, and so we traveled all the way up here. You can almost smell Lake Erie, uh, where we're at, or at least the the moisture in the air, and uh, it makes me ocean sick. It makes me, that doesn't sound right, it makes me uh, miss the ocean. So, I guess ocean sick would be the way to say it, but it doesn't sound right. Anyway, so this page has uh, one of the robots completely freaking out because he's not getting instantaneous results uh, from his farming efforts and he thinks things should happen more instantaneously and he's panicking because the seeds aren't growing plants fast enough and as I was looking at that this page while trying to think of what to talk about, it came to me right before I hit record that a lot of times this is how we are with the things we do in our lives. We uh, do some of the prep work and we do a little bit of a little bit of effort and we wait for the results and the results don't happen right away and when the results don't happen right away because we're a point-and-click society now with the internet um, we start to panic and we think that that's not what we're supposed to be doing or that it's not working and so we stop too soon or we stop uh, before what we are putting our efforts into comes to fruition. So, in a lot of ways, this this page is uh, an example of how a lot of us tend to go through life. This comic book is taking me forever. Um, I started writing this more than ten years ago, and I started drawing it about three years ago, and it's been slow going. It's taking me a while, and it's to be expected when I'm working a full-time 9 to 5 and trying to raise kids and take care of all the stuff, but it's slow going, and at any point I could probably just get frustrated and stop and quit, and it would be perfectly understandable. However, I need to do that. And so, there it is. So yeah, I think that uh, as we get older, we start to realize that uh, some things actually take time, and especially some of the uh, more important things that you want to do in life, and some of the things that can make a change tend to take more time than clicking a button and finding out that uh, it happens instantaneously. Just like some drawings, some some effects with the with drawing take time and require multiple trips to the drawing. I think the same thing works with other parts of life. It just 
you got to give things time. So I think this page is, is a good example for that. It's a good, uh, I guess it's a metaphor. I don't know. Um, but these robots are, are panicking because, well, at least the one is panicking because things aren't happening as fast as what he thinks it should. So, and I see that a lot with, especially younger people who think that life isn't nearly as long. Things should be born immediate. When they don't get it, they, they tend to freak out and panic. So, patience. That's what I would suggest. I'd just like to remind everybody that's, that's listening and that watches this. I look at these videos as kind of a time capsule to my kids and my grandkids and maybe my great grandkids. I don't know how long these videos will last, but I know that they're listening to this now, even though I'm making it in 2019. They could be listening to this in 2032, and it would still be now. So, I guess what I'm trying to share is that if you're doing something and it seems to be taking a really long time, just keep doing it. Just keep working at it. And... It will either come to pass or it won't come to pass, but you have to let things work and work their way through it so that you can see the results that are going to come. So that's my bit of advice. As far as the drawing goes, uh, it looks like a lot of little tiny details with uh, the mic micron pen, the different size micron pens. Uh, as I evolved, I think the pens got larger and larger to, to eliminate some of the uh, micromanaging of details um, so that I could uh, focus on getting it done and maybe use I really like this brush pen that I'm using now. I get to have variation in line without having to go back over the same line several times with the pen. So, I think that's about what I have for the week. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching this and for listening to me talk. Um, maybe this advice helped. If it did, let me know. If it doesn't, let me know. Um, I want to thank my Patreon supporters, uh, Joe, thank you very much, uh, and everybody who's listening on YouTube, um, who gets this through whatever social media outlet it happens to come out on. Uh, we're nearing the time where I'm going to start looking into publishing, so I have to look into various outlets for that. And I will keep you up to date on what I end up going through. So in the meantime, have a good week. And check in next weekend, and we will have another video for you. Thank you very much. See you later.